lots of video of weather causing mass destruction and chaos, but Marielle has a story for us that's all about one guy trying to change all of that with architecture, right? That's right. One Hong Kong design firm, Ten Design, has designed a tornado-proof home. So what happens is the house is set on hydraulics, and when the house starts to feel high-velocity winds, it goes underground. That's like Star Trek. And it's also equipped to be wind and waterproof, and it's also lined with a layer of Kevlar. <laughs> so yes. that means it's bulletproof too? Now this is really cool, but I mean, come on, there's, there's no way that this is actually gonna get built. This is an idea started by a guy named Ted Givens, and we actually have Ted on the line to talk to him about it. Hey Ted, how's it going? Hello, hello, great to be with you guys today. Tell us a little more about this concept. The idea was to kind of look at the natural conditions. Like um, if you look at New Orleans, Japan, we always tend to build projects where you shouldn't build them. It's really no accident that tornadoes happen. They're, they're more of a probability than an accident. So we thought instead of trying to change that, let's just work with that and start design kind of a, a responsible architecture that responds to the natural conditions. How soon do you think that this will be built? The goal is within a year we'd have a prototype built. Wow. We're working with a, there's an international engineer that's helping us figure out the structure. It's actually quite simple. Can you tell us a little bit too about some of the other structures, what those are like that you would think of for other disasters? We're currently working on a kind of a famine-proof house for Africa that generates its own food and is powered by algae. And we're also looking at um, man-made conditions like pollution. This is so cool and I just love the idea that this could happen within the next year. 